All right. Welcome back to Inside with Brett Hawk. I'm a swim nerd. We're all swim nerds today on the live show. We have the Finnish fish, Fanny Tayon Salo. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm really good. Thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm I'm glad we got to work on that name off um off camera for a second. <laughs> yeah, you must have. No, you're doing so. well. Yeah, good, good, good. Um, so yeah, we got a lot to talk about. You guys are in uh, Naples, just ate some pizza, went to the catacombs. We're a little <laughs> bit late, but that's okay. Uh um, are you guys off this week? Off racing, yeah, but I mean we're still training. We had a little bit of a Lighter day today, just a single this morning with a lift, and then off the rest of the afternoon. Which so honestly, when, turned out to be a workout because the walk to the catacombs was like 40 minutes uphill. It's, I mean, it was stressful. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's been <laughs> really seemed, good though. It seems like there's a lot to do though. There, it, it looks like there's so much activity around like every every time i see somebody there's somewhere different somewhere beautiful like you're on the ocean you're doing historical things you're eating great food i mean it looks like a great city oh yeah the food is awesome i mean a month of pizza and pasta sounds a little long mm -hmm. but it's really good pizza and pasta <laughs> the ocean's super nice there's obviously like historical cultural things to do it's been really cool it's a good place to be is yeah, this you your first year? year first, first year, year on energy standard yeah yeah yes okay. cool you picked a great team thank you i mean i think a great team picked me so yep yep that's awesome that is awesome congratulations all right N asani i mean uh yep. Nate, where, where are we get, going let's get started here um our boy ahmed olympic champion for under freestyle <laughs> is coming to swim in the ncaa uh with Ray Luz at Indiana University, and we pulled up this clip from last night because I, I knew Sonny had said something in that live stream, um, and it's just so funny because we were kind of like not Nostradamus on this. So here's uh, 59 seconds real quick of that that 400 free live show. I wonder if he's, uh, if he's got plans to come to, to the States or not. Yeah, I don't know. He will in a minute after they attack him in the warm-down pool. You know, he'll have uh, 20 coaches on him in a minute. Exactly. We just missed 39. 39. Ray, minutes. Ray Luz is waiting at the uh, exit with a, with a towel wrap around him. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard about Indiana University? <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later. Oh, you're not, you're not going to believe this. Ray Luz has just gone up to the... Tunisian's coach. I'm seeing it. He just got and hugged him. It's happening. It's happening. Dude, I told you. I told you. Ray lose. Ray? <laughs> I'm genuinely serious. He's just gone over, start hugging the coach. He is literally handing a little ticket to Indiana. <laughs> is there anything better than Sonny losing his mind and just laughing? Uh, I, I don't think I laughed that hard the whole entire time. I just kept rewinding it. Even the reactions were just great. It was too I funny. Just, so. Yeah, it was just so set in stone. Like it had to be Ray Lewis. It had to be Indiana. <laughs> and it happened right before our eyes. And when I saw that announce yesterday, I just instantly fought back to that clip. And yeah, I, I, it's, it's, it's too good to be true. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we could dig it up. Um, so in all seriousness though, this is what we were kind of talking about, right? Like, because these kids can make money now, they, they can come to the NCAA, right? Uh, and I think we kind of cl clipped off the clip, but, um, we were kind of talking about how like Australia, if you're from England, if you're from, uh, Canada, they're going to keep you in there. They're going to keep you in their high performance centers or whatever. But if you're from Tunisia, I mean, why not go see, uh, Ray Luz in Indiana for a little bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Fanny, uh, you swam in the NCAA. What were the schools you were picking between? <laughs> um, so I went to Florida Gulf Coast for three semesters first, and then I transferred out and I took trips to Arizona State where I ended up going and mm. Auburn and Florida State. <gasps> Which, oh, you know, wow. obviously. <laughs> wow, you took a trip to Auburn and you didn't pick that coach and team. I did. 
<laughs> it was a really great trip. It was a tough decision, but I'm really happy with how I went about it. <laughs> you did you did well. Congratulations. It was Thank awesome. You. But Thank um you. yeah, so this kid's gonna get end up in Indiana. Olympic champion. I don't I don't know. Like I guess now with the the likeness and the image stuff that you can make money now. So I guess he's he's gonna be able to make money, be Olympic champ and, and go swim in Indiana. So good for them. Yeah, and get an education. So mm -hmm. Not a bad deal. Not 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 a bad deal at all. Yeah. I mean, I think really with the NIL rule, like you don't really have anything to lose with going mm. to swim in the NCAA. Like mm. they really up their game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess the, this is a good transition um, because I put uh, David Popovich's name up here and most people are like, why are we talking about him? And the reason I was thinking about talking about him again today was because Think about this. He's on the New York Breakers, right? They're not going to make it to the playoffs. Is that correct? No. There's no way. No. no They're dead last, which means he's not going to compete, right? Yeah. yeah. He's not going to compete this year. No. Which means he's still eligible to mm -hmm. swim in the NCAA until he swims in the, IL the ISL. So mm -hmm. you could literally be like a basketball player, do a one and done, come for one semester. You could literally pop in you know, for a semester, swim, come back, swim in the ISL next year. It's just a thought. Just a thought. Can we get a live shot of Ray Luz right now? What's he doing? <laughs> 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 no, no, good for him. I mean, he's a great recruiter. It was not meant as an insult. It's Ray's a great recruiter. And uh, yeah. Not we, at all. We may, uh, we may end up with Popovich in the, in the NCA swimming in Indiana with another Olympic champ. There we go. Who knows? Um, I, I put it out on, on Twitter and I just put always be recruiting. You know, there's that famous, mm -hmm. famous sales video. Always, always be selling. And that, I mean, the guy's not stopping. It was just so funny. I, I <laughs> a lot of credit to him. Yeah. Um, all right. So back to the ISL real quick. Uh, you guys, if you guys are, if you guys win the skins, you basically win everything. Is that right? Pretty much. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of points. I mean, Caleb so got points. 51 points in the last match in the skins alone. And it normally takes anywhere 70 points upwards to be MVP. So he got 51 points in the skins and he got 112 points overall. In our matches, I think uh, Sarah won with something 60 something points in the first match. And then Shabon won with 78 and a half points in the second match. So if you get 51 points in the skins, you get MVP, you get a bonus to be an MVP, you get a lot of money. Yeah. Is it still based on the medley relay determining the skins? Yes. So, do you want to explain? Go on. Oh, you've, oh. Been, you've been part okay. of the relay. So. so it's not just whoever wins the medley relay anymore. It's whoever gets third, right? Whoever gets third gets to um, like block one stroke. And then whoever gets second gets to block another stroke. And then the team that won gets to choose between the two remaining strokes. Oh, oh, I gotcha. All right, all right. Yeah, that's why you see him at the end of the first match. They take the four coaches. Mark mm. Foster's hanging out with them. Like, you know, they're all joking, having a good laugh, mm. you know. But right. um, it has added a little extra something to it. Um, but it is, it's just, I mean, if you're a sprinter, th this is for you. I mean, this, the ISL is for you. The money is for you. The skins are for you. So um, being a sprinter, man, this is why we see like an Ingrid Wilm, right? Uh, the Canadian that's swimming for Dave Marsh over at the LA Current. She's like my, what I would say, like my breakout swimmer of the meet. Um, she's 5,900 back. Oh, wow. I she broke the that. Canadian record. Hmm. Yep. She went 55 oh, nine. Yeah. Right. So she's, I mean, think about that. She's, um, she's, one of those swimmers, maybe not as strong as a long course swimmer as a short course swimmer, but she just won the best time by like over a second, right? And took that jump from being a, a good swimmer to a like a really great swimmer. I mean, to think that she's the fastest Canadian ever in short course meters is pretty impressive. Um, and again, now she's that's a good pickup for LA Current because if, if they have to do backstroke skins for the women. They're going to be hard to beat. Now they got a, They have another, another girl that's going to be uh, top notch. So, um, Sarah Swaystrom, what has she flown out? She's gone home. She's going to rest her elbow. What, what's the story? 
She, she, the, uh, uh, she, she, she flew back the day after our last match. She's going to miss the next two matches for us and she'll be back in the Eindhoven for the playoffs. Um, we've got Femke Himskirt coming in. So we get another freestyler come mm -hmm. in to sort of pick up them similar events. Um, it'll be all right. We don't, we're, we're feeling pretty good about making the playoffs already. So, uh, you <laughs> I know, thought Sarah Flo was coming back. in. Where's Flo? Flo? Flo is coming in soon. Mm, yeah. He'll be, he'll be in Naples. Yeah. We're, James Guy won't be in Naples, but um, Flo and Femka will be in Naples. Okay. Soon. All right. And um, guess who else is coming? Hockey. Who? The Australians. Oh, the Aussies. The Aussie invasion. Yeah, they're coming, all right. They're coming. So yeah, well, I, I think it took them like 48 hours to get there. Oh, like literally? Yeah, I mean, I saw a, a post. Um, one, uh, Who was it? Chalmers, I think. Chalmers put a post up. He's like, hey, I've been traveling for 48 hours or something just ridiculous. So uh, um, he's going to feel a million dollars once he gets there. Is uh, Let me ask you this. Is there any um, – interaction between the teams like are you, are you hanging out together or are you kind of separate even away from the pool um i mean there's some interaction i think they're trying to keep us pretty like in our own little bubbles with each team but i do think especially the people that have you know friends prior on the other teams they'll go get dinner together and stuff so we still we do get to see them i got dinner with one of the finnish girls the other day so that was nice nice Nice. What about a little inside info here? Is there any is there any partying going on behind the scenes back here? What's happening? What's happening in Naples? I think they're keeping it pretty down low um, until maybe we'll see how it is at the end of the okay. ISL, but for now, not that much. All right. Gotcha. Nice. Good answer. All right. Um, one of the other um, storylines, I think John Lone wrote about it uh, in Swim World magazine was um, – you know, Caleb's a look, he's inching closer to that record. Uh, you know, he got a, he got a, a couple other week, couple more weeks of swims under his belt. And I uh, just went, what, 44, three, I mean, 45, three, 45, four. Um, and, uh, I think you posted, um, Amory Laveau's world record swim. And, uh, he gave that tweet a, a thumbs up. So he, he wants to, I think he wants to see his record broken and someone make that 50,000 bucks to get his world record. So, um, Trestle on world record one. Unknown caller. Oh wow! No, was, come on, mate. Be professional mate. here. Come on. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> we find That's out these calling. new things all the time. What? Like phones <laughs> calling? Who would have thought? Hey, they ring. <laughs> Bluetooth. It's somehow it's connected Bluetooth into the audio of Roadcaster. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all right. Who do we have this week? Uh, Hawk. Trestle. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, we were talking so, about Dressel. Oh, we're gonna stay on Dressel for a oh, second. Oh, yeah, stay on Dressel. Yeah. So, will, will he break the world record? So, from what I know, Jesse obviously on the show with us last week. Jesse has been told, or well, he thinks that Caleb is leaving for the next two matches because Jesse thinks he's getting the individual swims. Um, but from Instagram, Caleb does seem to be around. I did see Callie at the pool this morning. I didn't see Caleb, so maybe he's gone. Maybe he's still here. But I don't think he'll get the world record in Naples. But I think he, if he is in Naples, there's, there's a good chance because he's clearly getting faster. He's still on the, the dregs of that taper from Olympics. And, uh, you know, getting back into the pool after probably a little vacation with his wife. It, it, this seems like a perfect time because you'd presume Greg's going to start spanking him as soon as he gets <laughs> back to America after this little block. Um, uh, yeah. And, so I think he's obviously he's capable. He's 45-0 on the anchor of the relay, 45-4. And he, he does about 20 races every ISL match. So, I mean, if someone's going to do it, it's him, right? I mean, he's the guy that went sub 40 in yards. Yeah, yeah. He's he's definitely getting it. It's just a matter of when. I would agree with that completely. He's That, that record is going to go down. Uh, he, You know, watching the video, not taking anything away from Amory, but, you know, watching the video – it's not a perfect swim by any means. It's a very, very good swim. But when when you see the level of where Caleb has taken the turns and the underwaters and the breakouts and the even the first fifteen off the off the start, even the way he's closing races, um, you, you've got to say that that record is definitely going to go down sometime this season. So it'll happen. 
what did he go in the um, finale last year? Forty-five flat or something. Mm-hmm. So he was only he was only it was less than a full tenth off, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. This last year, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll see. I think you're missing out talking about Clement Kalesnikov as well. That guy, that guy, when he's tapered, will do damage. He he won't train him for the hundred three last season. Only this season, he was like, oh, I'm pretty good at this. I just went 47-3 long course. Mm-hmm. And then got to 47 double one And he was splitting 45 lows for fun last season when he started getting moving. And he'll get moving. He'll get moving. So We don't have the inside any, info on him, mate. You do. You see him every day. Second, he's working. He's working. What does he do well he's then? Working. Like we, we've, we've seen Caleb. We can kind of break him down pretty easy. What does Clem do that is so mind-blowing to you? nothing in particularly mind-blowing. He just swims really fast, really well. Like, I saw him do a dive 15 the other day and nothing about it looked that impressive and it was 5.3 and I was like, at the end of at the end of like a five and a half K practice, I was like, yeah, he's quite good. He's quite good. Yeah, he yeah. he definitely, Um, it's interesting to see the guys like on your videos compared to NBC videos, right? You, you, you don't understand scale. You don't have other people next to them usually. And he just, he doesn't even look like he's very muscular and ne- neither does his Russian counterpart. You know, they both kind of look uh, just skinny and not like a whole lot of muscle mass on him. I mean, heck, you might even say he got a little, he doesn't even have like a six pack. I've, I've seen him in the gym. He sweats in the gym. He it, like, he was doing, um, he was doing, like, you know, like the ab wheel rollouts. He was doing them mm. on an exercise ball, which is even harder. And he was doing 40 seconds of them at a time for five minutes straight with 20 seconds rest every, so 40 on, 20 off. He was doing like 20 reps in a row. I do like eight and I then collapse and can't move my, can't even stand up straight for a day. And he was literally just going. So yeah, he might not look like six pack abs, but yeah, he, he's, he's, a, he's a strong guy. And he, yeah, he, he grinds when he grinds. And the first week before the first match, he was sort of in a bit of holiday mode. And this last week, I've just seen him put the hammer down him and the him and the other russian guys they sort of do their own thing so we like run practice that Fonny mm-hmm. does with us and there's always one of the coaches with them and then like andre zhilkin one of the other russians he's swimming for two hours straight every day this week on his own he went nine and a half k monday nine one yesterday i think he was nine three today we he just does it what? he gets in and just swims two hours straight he asked me to tell him at two hours i forgot to he just kept going <laughs> Um, he's a nutter. Um, <laughs> well, make, listen. All music uh, in my vlogs right now is produced by Andre Zilkin as well. Oh, that's cool. That's fun fact. He's a cool oh, guy. that's that's who uh, was behind the DJ. Yes, yeah, that's Andre. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's very cool. We don't want to see the 10K swims. So keep him out of the vlog. But in terms of the <laughs> the ab ab wheel medicine ball rollout things, when are we getting a vlog on that, mate? We've got a sprint workout. We filmed a sprint workout that you done. I have vlogged it all yesterday, so that will probably come in the next couple of days. But that was pretty good. Some that was fast a good one, swimming. yeah. Yeah. What's your fifty That's... with fins at the end? Uh twenty-four five fly. Fly. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, give, us some, give us some freaky stuff like that. You know, we want to see that on the vlog. Get it up there. Yeah. It's, the first two weeks, because we was racing, there weren't anything crazy in summer practices. Mm-hmm. Um, this last week, we've been able to. Give a little bit more, would you say so? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, nice. We've been doing cool stuff in practice and outside of practice, so hopefully it looks cool in the vlogs. Awesome. All right. What's up next? What's up next? Got a couple yeah. of uh, legendary swim coaches on the pod this week. Uh, you want to talk about who who we got? Brett? Yeah, Fern- Fernando from Brazil uh, just uh, helped – win the 10k open water um gives us some great insights into the the sacrifices that he's been making for for many years now to kind of um take his swimmer Anna Marcella all the way through a couple of olympics finally getting getting uh on top of the podium in tokyo and winning that gold medal and then um having his sights set on paris and and going back to back there and just the the hours and the, and the weeks and the months that they've put into this, um, it, it's very intense. It's a great podcast. So check out that. Uh, speaks multiple languages, just like our our next guest tomorrow, Fred Vernou from um, from France. But he is he was the head coach of Spain for a number of years now, and um, 
and, and Fred speaks multiple languages as well. So he's taking us into his history, his background, his coaching philosophy. That's coming out tomorrow. Fred Venu from France. Uh, excellent podcast. Check it out. Do you know Fred uh, Fani? No, not personally. I've heard the name, but I really okay. couldn't tell you. Yeah, you know who he is. You've seen him around. Yeah, Five time sure. Olympic coach. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, moving on, some sad news. Uh, the legendary coach, Bill Wadley, over at Ohio State, passed away yesterday from pancreatic cancer. Um, I know we had been notified about six months ago. Uh, everyone kind of knows pancreatic cancer is super aggressive and n not the cancer you want. Um, so a lot of people, um, Cindy Gallagher was posting about, about him saying some nice things. Let me, let me pull this up real quick. Cindy, the head coach of DC Trident. So sad to hear of Bill Wadley's passing. I've learned more in retirement, the impact of coaches. While we can't make everyone happy, Bill always made you feel valued. He's believed in all of us. And for that, I'm forever, forever grateful. Rest in peace, Bill. Um, he had uh, an Olympic swimmer um, in every single one of the Olympics over the last seven Olympics in a row. Um, wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know Bill as well as other people. Um, you know, when you're in the SEC bubble, you kind of stay there. So I wasn't in their their realm. Um, but but obviously had interactions with uh, Bill quite frequently, you know, on the pool deck and things like that. A great man. Um, passionate coach, clearly. Made a huge impact on many people over many years. And uh, yeah, it's always sad to to lose someone of his elk, especially he he wasn't he wasn't that old, you know. Um, so it's it's a friendly reminder to just live every day and love every day. So that's right. Yeah. All right, let's click. Um, back. and then uh, obviously some amazing news. Uh, Pernil and uh, Florent are tying the knot. Uh, Two Olympic champions in the yeah. In the I've not seen any of them personally. Um, well, well, me. um so uh, crazy. Are you guys still there? You with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, I cut out for a little bit. Yeah, I, I was just saying. Yeah, I, I don't know Florent or Pernil personally at all. Do you know either of them? Me neither. No, I mean obviously they're. Well, I don't think Pernil is on the team now, but no, she's dancing. They're both. She's like, dancing. Standard staples kind of still. So it's like it was a big piece of news for the team, but it's been really cool to follow everyone getting so excited about it. And obviously they make a really beautiful couple together. So yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's cool to see, you know, um, for sure. I'm sure there's lots of jokes about how fast that baby's going to be. I don't but, think well, it's like, a, it's like it's his true. sister, his sister, uh, yeah, in you know, law, law was um, had a baby with Fred Bousquet. Oh yeah, so, Bousquet. So you're gonna have these like this little baby cousins, you know, freak freaks of nature. You know, like who's gonna win the Olympic gold first? Is it gonna yeah. be <laughs> that one or that one? <laughs> yeah, which cousin? Yeah, which cousin's gonna be the Olympic <laughs> champ first? So. That is hilarious. Um, I did have a swim talk of the week, but uh, it didn't download, so we can't watch it. Um, so. I'm going to have to bring that one up uh, n next week then. But um, so what are you guys doing for the rest of the week down there? You guys are just, are you hammering out practice this week hard or because you don't have a meet for like another 10 days or? Pretty much. Yeah. This week is going to be like a heavy work week. And then next week we'll kind of tone it down a little bit again to get ready to race Saturday, Sunday. But I'm excited to get some real work in and like, actually do practice and not just kind of feel the water and she doesn't do much <laughs> i do some and i do Sprinter. fast <laughs> yeah fast it's a good life yeah who, who are you training with these days uh like usually or here yeah usually um so i live in uvascula which is central finland with marco malvela he's kind of 
like a legend coach in Finland, I would say we have about 40% of the national team training with us. So it's a really good group. We have Arepek Kaliukkonen who just won um, European You're championships a- in May. Um, Mimo Sayalo, a really, really fast backstroker and freestyler and butterflyer. Um, and some other like good Finnish swimmers. And it's a good group of friends too. So really enjoying that. Legendary Finnish coach. Sounds like I need to get him on the podcast, Sonny. What do you think? <laughs> Talk to her, not me. It's, you should, yeah. His coaching philosophy is pretty interesting. I think he would have a lot to say. <laughs> Speaks great English. He's Finnish. Sufficient English, pretty good. <laughs> Okay, we can we can work with that. Well, I'll, I'll get your I'll get his contact yeah. details off you and uh, try and reach out to him. Get a get a podcast going with him. That'd be awesome. Hey, I know he does you... like your podcast, so he'd be excited. Yes, <laughs> winner. I don't understand how you've been doing so many podcasts, Brett. Like you are literally doing like two a day for the last however long. You must be I've, knackered. I've done a couple. I've got a couple in the books. A couple of surprises already in the books. Uh, some exciting ones coming up. Uh, did did a couple yesterday actually, and um, yeah, some really good content coming out. I'm I'm so thankful for everybody who's sharing, who's agreeing to come on the podcast. Funny, thank you for being here today and sharing with us. But I mean, just coaches from all around the world sharing their ideas, opening up their programs. I had a coach yesterday just sitting in his office, opened up his program for an hour and a half, and I, and I literally told him, I said, it's like you've just invited the whole world of swimming to come in and sit in, sit at your office and listen to you speak. It's amazing to me, you know, and I'm very thankful. So um, I'm loving the podcast, mate. It's uh, it's, it's a pleasure, you know? All he's got to do is click record when his friends call him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, how much work is it? That's it. We've got, we've got to get Sonny to laugh at the end of this, mate. That laugh is infectious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, we just play that other video again. <laughs> well, if you, if you played us the swim talk, maybe I'd have laughed. But you just yeah. you, you, oh. you letting phone calls ring while, you, while we're recording today. No, <laughs> you're not a, on it, mate. You are not yeah. on it today. Yeah, yeah. Such an amateur. Uh, for sure. Sonny, you're the production you got guy. That. That's what you're here for. You got that other. You got that other team breathing down your neck, copying all your shit. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brett knew no. that would get me. <laughs> Don't even get me started. I, 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 honestly, I can't yeah. get how blatant it is, but yeah, <laughs> is what it is. All right, well, kids, have a great night in Italy. Um, sorry. Yeah, have a great week of work. And uh, I guess we'll see you when we see you. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Let's go full screen on these two. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for having me. It's been really fun. Yep. Yep. All right. Enjoy. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Catch you, guys. <laughs>